biggest day for football and chicken wings is coming up on Sunday, and our next guest has everything you need to know about the wing. Give it up for Stephanie Hansen. Everybody. Yeah. The wing. That's right. Okay. Uh, what are we doing, friend? How well, would you? Well, I just want to say. Yeah. The Super Bowl, which is called the big game, because I don't think I can say the words. Yeah. Is the high holiday of chicken wings. It is the high holiday of chicken. Now it's every Friday for me, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so right about now we're probably hearing about the chicken wing shortage and everyone's panicking so they can charge you two dollars more for your package of chicken wings. But I digress. Okay. Every year there's a chicken wing shortage. Okay. I haven't heard a lot about it this year. I think we're good. Okay, good. I, I think hope we're so. good. I think there are enough chickens. I bought mine a couple weeks ago and had them in the freezer, so I was prepared. Okay, let's start with how to prep them. Is that where we're starting? Yeah, because, okay. all right, so I have made two types of chicken wings here. And during the pandemic, chicken wings was a real bummer for me because you couldn't go to restaurants and that was the thing I missed the most. So I figured out how to make them pretty good at home. Now, I have an air fryer. It is in my garage because I think it kind of smells when it cooks. But it the number one reason to buy an air fryer, I know, it, I'm weird. You keep it in the garage? I do, I do. Okay. The yeah. number one yeah. reason to buy an air fryer, however, and this is a great model, is to cook chicken wings. Yeah. So yes. they get super crispy, and it's hard to get crispy wings at home. What model is that? Because you know people are going to ask. It's a, you say it's a Cuisinart, and it's also a toaster. It's great. <laughs> I love, I love, I'm like Leo, Leo, <laughs> Leo did the Price is Right gift shop, or like the, when the yes. model goes like that and rubs all over the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, anyway. All right, so if you are making chicken wings. The audience is just talking constantly yeah. back. There's a show going on, people. <laughs> okay. If you're making chicken wings at home, there's a very important step that you need to do. Okay. You need to shake them with a little flour, a little either cornstarch or baking powder the night before. So Why? what I do is I put a quarter cup of flour, a tablespoon of cornstarch. I used baking powder today, it's fine. I use about four tablespoons of my seasoning. I shake it in a bag like this and then I lay them out on a sheet pan tray and I put them in the refrigerator overnight. Because what happens is, is that reaction dries out the edges of the wings and the skin. So that when you cook it, either in the air fryer or in your oven, you get a much crispier wing because it starts out and it's drier. It, it's one of the secrets of... Um, totally. It's one of the secrets, uh, if you've ever had Wings of the Monte Carlo in Minneapolis, yes. it's what they do there. Yeah, yeah you have to dry them out. So. Yeah. The next thing that you're gonna do in your air fryer is you're just gonna put the wings in and you're gonna cook them. But in your oven, you cook them for 30 minutes at 400, then you flip them and you put your sauce on, then you put them back in for 10 minutes and you flip them back, put your sauce again and finish them off. So I'm wondering if you can tell which, this is obviously air fried wings, but can you tell between those two, which one is air fryer or which one is baked in my oven? No. Okay. No, I can't. I mean, this, and I, look, I, I see a lot of wings. Yeah. And I honestly cannot tell. Yeah. So, friends, these, which I think look crispier and are my favorite, are in the oven. So, these are the air fryer. And they're a little moister. And if you like a moister wing, moister? that's great. I know. I keep using the word moist. You, we both hate that word. I know. I know, yeah. But I love a crispy wing, Me like too. almost to the point of too dry. And these are crispy. They were in the oven. They're dry. They're not all wet. And they're just delicious. They are really good. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, so you've got your bag, you've got your seasoning in your bag. I just want to talk a little bit about the dressing situation. Please. Yeah. Ran regular ranch. Really oh my God, me. those are hot. <laughs> <laughs> I like hot wings. I probably should have told you. <laughs> are you trying to kill me? They're just buffalo. Are they super hot? Yes! Oh. Well, you need to dip it in your dressing. <laughs> Can I get some water or milk? Yeah, okay. <laughs> They're not that hot. They are. Okay, continue. Okay, so regular ranch dressing gives me a cramp because it's full of sugar. So if you love ranch, 
You can make it yourself with the seasoning that they sell. Okay. So you can put your own mayonnaise. I use yogurt because it's a little tart, half and half. Use a little ground mustard, and you can make up your own thousand times better ranch that tastes like ranch because you have the ranch seasoning. It's just not cloyingly sweet. If you only oh. have ranch, thin it out a little bit with a little extra mayo, a little extra yogurt. Give it a little extra zhuzh so that it's not super sweet. Here you go, friend. Okay. All right. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Uh, we're going to take a break. I'm going to hose off, and then uh, we're going to wrap this up because here's the deal. A member of our Jason Show family, Erin Schwab, uh, revealed to us a couple days ago that she can't stand chicken wings, and she hasn't eaten one in a... And she hasn't... Okay. Why is this a good idea? Can we remove Phil, please? <laughs> Can we please? Um, when we come back, Erin is going to try a wing for the first time in a decade. Can we turn her? Can we make a, con a chicken wing convert when we return back in a moment? Yeah. So Steph laughed at me and she said their wings aren't that hot, but she's wiping her nose during the break because her nose was running because of the sauce. Yes. I was. They are hotter than maybe I thought. Yeah. Um, before we move on and get Aaron up here to try, uh, let me just give you a compliment though. I, I, I think the, the studio audience heard me. I, you know, everyone knows I love serums and yeah. th that and Monte Carlo are my favorite wings in the area. These are very serums like. These are really good stuff. They really, really are. I think I really perfected that recipe you did. during the pandemic because literally I was so sad I couldn't go to my favorite restaurant and have wings. And they're baked in the oven, which, you know, I like the idea of being able to make things at home for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because I don't want to go, I said it again, I don't want to watch the big game on Fox Yeah. Um, <laughs> at a bar. I want to watch it at home. I like watching the commercials and I don't want all the talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, one more thing about sauce, right? Okay, so I just want to say making your own sauce is not hard. You just shake it up in a mason jar. If you like blue cheese, go ahead and put your crumbles in. You know what's a really nice way to enhance your sauce? What? Pickle juice. What? Put a little of the pickle juice or pepperoncini juice in your ranch dressing and shake it in a mason jar. That also kind of can cut some of that sugar that you get in your traditional box dressings. I love that. Yeah, it really works. Okay. Do you need to blow your nose or anything? No, nope, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Yeah. This spice, that's 14 spices that I use. It's, it's a local company. Yeah. So. Okay. As I said before the break, uh, a random moment happened on the show. Uh, Aaron Schwab, our audience coordinator and my dear friend, was talking about it. She goes, you know what, Jace? I hate chicken wings. And, uh, <laughs> and I haven't had one uh, in a decade. So I am bound and determined to see if we can convert her. Studio audience, give it up for Aaron Schwab, everyone. Okay, I don't know why this is a good idea for me <laughs> as the chicken wing preparer yeah. to be tested in such a way, but I'm I'm a big big girl. Great. Okay. <laughs> she looks scared. Uh, she is scared. Now, all kidding I mean, aside. What is it that you don't like about a wing? I feel like it's a lot of work for very little payoff. That is kind of how I feel about crab legs. And, and I also, gotcha. I don't like when people take this and they oh, put yeah. it in and then they just pull it out like a caveman yep. and throw it. Yep. Also, just so you know, a really nice audience member. There's a, a pocket in my scarf, just so you know. Um, gave me Sandy wipes so I can wipe my hands because I also find it annoying that I have to, in fact... We have the best audiences. They bring wipe everything. My hands yes. in between everything I eat. Okay. okay. All right. So, so are, are you... Uh, are, are, are you... Are they all the same? No. Are you real spicy or are you just medium spice? I mean... I think I'm real spicy, but yeah, you are. I might want to start with a medium spice. Okay. Unless you feel like deadening all feeling inside my mouth is a better way to no, go about it. No, let's start with me. No. I don't want to scare Steph. I don't okay, want to scare Okay, and then my next question, <laughs> are you a flat or are you a wing? No, I don't want the thing you have to poke through the bones to get the meat out. That means you're a wing. A you're wing. a drummy. A drummy. Okay, yeah, okay. Want whatever that so one is. That one, I think, is prime. That's a prime one. Drum. Give her that one. Okay, you want me to just put this in my face hole and eat it? Yeah. I'd prefer you not call your face a hole, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And you could dip it in my delicious homemade sauce. All right. Because, you know, <laughs> that brings it up a level. I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't want to hurt my Are feelings because she's very nice. Is it? Well, look at you. You're gnawing on it. No. Is it? <laughs> it's I'm still a caveman on television. That's what's happening. Right now. It's still grief to dollar yeah. ratio. Do you like though? I mean, are you still not going to eat chicken you know, wings? It's really delicious. However, but no. But my God, I'm exhausted from just eating that few bites. I tried, America. Aaron Schwab and Stephanie Hansen, everyone. That's hilarious. If you miss the chicken wing recipe, it's all on her, it's all on her website, stephaniesdish.com. Thanks to the lovely audience member who gave the Sandy wipes. That's right. We'll be posting these on our YouTube and Facebook pages. We're going to take a break. We'll be right palette. back. Back in a moment. It's not your thing. This is funny. What was...